Last time you guys saw me, I wasn't doing so well. Had a lot of things going down in my mind. I was thinking, I was thinking a lot. I was thinking about me and Hibiko. And the thought of it, it scared me a little. Because I know how 50-50 our matches have been. But, but I woke up today and uh, I feel a lot better about it now. Just something switched, something in me just realized that I am the interim BC champion. <laughs> and this doesn't scare me. This thing you hide under doesn't scare me. Doesn't separate us. You're still just a man. Just like me. But not like me. See, you're not as good as me. You aren't. I trained with you. I came up with you. I know every single part of you. And I'm going to use every single part of you against yourself. Because <laughs> that's what TJ showed me to do. That's what he's taught me so far. Even though he's not here, his teachings still are in me. TJ taught me to be ruthless. <sighs> Fico, that is exactly what I'm gonna be to you. Now I'm I am not TJ's. Hey, Judas. How's it going, buddy? Hey, man. Really appreciate you letting me train with you. You know, I was, I was beginning to think that you were, like, hating me and stuff. Man. Oh, this is pretty cool. You know, it'd be really cool if you were the PWA British Columbia champion. You know what? You know what? <laughs> Sam, right? Uh, it's Cam. Yeah, Sam. Can you do me a favor? You just put that mask on there, buddy. Yeah. Okay. You're doing great. Why am I putting this mask on, Judas? Nothing. You look great. <laughs> hmm? Huh? Who's the champion? Who's the champion? Who's the champion? Who's the champion? It's me! I'm the champion! <laughs> Show the camera, boy. Show the camera what's going on. Aviko, this has nothing to do with you. It is me and TJ. Stay out of it. Get yourself hurt. champion E.O. Mike Basher takes on infinite Nathan Legacy. E.O. brings years of experience 
entering his sixth, 17th year as a pro. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up to get things started. Hello, Ojos. I am back from my ring duties and excited to be calling this matchup with you. This is going to be an incredible match for the PWA Championship. Absolutely. I was just saying that uh, Fesher brings years of experience to the ring here against Nathan Legacy, who's, who's just got his career started. Fireman's takeover. This is classic EO work right here. Working the arm, taking a body part, picking it apart. Absolutely agree with you 100% there, Ochos. There he goes, doing what he does best, working the arm. Legacy, though, reverses it. And right there is where you see the experience of Mike Basher. Like, he knows that success comes from working those limbs. They can see him go back to work on the arm there of Nathan Legacy. He's got full control of this matchup. See, with, with Besher, what, it, what he does, he works the arm, but at the same time, no wasted motion. When he went down, quick little knee to the back. Shouldn't call it little. That's a 300-pound man dropping that knee. But it's those kind of things that really set Besher apart from the others because his experience comes in. That's why he's the PWA champion. Oh, absolutely. And uh, definitely the aggression from him, too. I I have seen many competitors in PWA, but not quite as aggressive as EO Mike Besher. Well, the thing with, with EO is although he's, although he's training these guys, he teaches them everything they know, but he doesn't teach them everything he knows. And that's what sets him apart here. Absolutely. Look at that. When you see him in the ring, you watch what he does. There's not a wasted movement. But absolutely here, we cannot undersell the absolute speed and athleticism and gifts of Nathan Legacy he is definitely a worthy competitor for EO Mike Basher's PWA Championship. This man has the ability to change a match very quickly. Absolutely, no doubt about it. He's proven his worth in PWA. It's just when you get in the ring with a guy with the experience level that EO really brings to the table, that's where, you know, I guess you could almost say that's where we separate the men from the boys, so to speak. If you can hang with, if, with, if you can hang with EO, then you know you well, deserve to be there. That's just wrestling personified, uh, Ocho Rios. Absolutely. Look at EO too. Not Work only is he the current PWA champion, but he is a five-time reigning PWA champion. This legacy pushes him in. Wow. That was absolutely devastating, like a freight train. Down Somehow he goes. Nathan was getting back up for another one. I don't know how he did that. You can see there's definitely the power and strength advantage. Absolutely huge right hand That's there. It's a reversal. Wow. Probably one of the nicest drop kicks I've seen in a long time. Nathan Legacy now utilizing that speed and aerial tactic uh, to try to take advantage of Besher in this matchup. Don't get lost on it. What a combination of moves there. You know, drop kick, spinning heel kick, standing shooting star press. I mean, this guy brings it all to the table. He really is a total package, if you will. But he's definitely in the ring right now with a hungry bear. A hungry bear that I don't think has eaten yet either, Ojo's Reels. Look he looks the, like he's getting ready to feed on Nathan Legacy look right at here. The, these shots to the chest, they're going to wear him out. Uh-oh. He, he just pointed Nathan Legacy at his belly. Oh, my goodness, on the cover. That was 303 pounds crashing down on the frame of Nathan Legacy. I do not know how he kicked out of that, Ojo's. It was incredible. That was like, uh, that was a torrential downpour of splash there. That was, that was big. Absolutely. Uh -oh. the beefy goodness just raining down on his opponent. Look at him. He's getting that look on his face. He's got the crazy eyes, Ochos. You know he's going to be looking to possibly put him Nathan Legacy away here. He is, he is one of the most intimidating men I've ever seen in my life. Both in and out of the ring. Oh, Legacy reverses it. Oh, oh my goodness. 
one is an absolutely huge and explosive move by Nathan Legacy. What's he looking for again? He a huge suplex Ojos. Couldn't quite get him. Osborne, Osborne. <laughs> It was absolutely incredible. He's Nathan getting that suplex out of nowhere and going for the pin. How EO Mike Basher managed to kick out, I have no idea. 300 pounds, he was oh. chucking him around. Now to the top. Oh, oh my goodness, an absolutely huge boom saw Ojos, but nobody was home. Unbelievable. He's a risk taker and it didn't pay off that time. And now EO's going to make him pay. Uh, could you say that that was, oh, oh. my goodness, Ojos. A huge close by turning Nathan Legacy inside out. He looked like he landed right on his head when he clotheslined him. I think he did. He landed right on his neck. This could be a referee stoppage. You think? What's What's next? I sh I can't even believe it. Well, you know what? Is he just... going? Is he going to go for the River City Driver? Is he going to? Uh oh. Huge shots by Mike Basher going oh. on the ropes, but Nathan Legacy turning it into a beautiful Samoan drop, and now he's going for the cover. Only a two count as somehow EO Mike Basher managing to get his shoulders up in the Le nick of time. Legacy's hanging with the champ. Absolutely incredible uh, athleticism and heart shown by both of these competitors here. Definitely worthy of a PWA championship match. Well, you gotta imagine calling himself Infinite Nathan Legacy. I mean, his gas tank's gotta be infinite. But. How is Nathan still on his feet after a right hander like that from a 300 pound man? Absolutely. Pushes him in, goes for another clothesline. Oh my goodness! A huge suplex. He's by Nathan Legacy to the champion. He's been and now throwing, Nathan Legacy has got control. He's been throwing EO around in this match. Nathan's going to the top rope. It could be for something big. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, 450. Dude, couldn't quite get him. I cannot believe it. How How did Mike Besser kick out of that 450 splash, Ochoz? I'm absolutely blown away. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. I didn't I, expect to see that it would be EO displaying this kind of heart in this match. EO wrestling for oh. Tom. Oh, that was the really si River City driver in the cover. Not quite. That's not the River City driver. That was not the River. Oh my goodness, I thought that was the River City driver. I'm Either way, it was he an doesn't. absolutely devastating maneuver, and how Nathan Legacy managed to kick out of that pinning predicament, he's, I have no idea. He's looking angry. Could be time. Oh, my Set goodness, a power bomb. Not quite again. How did Nathan kick out of that pinning predicament? That was a huge sit I can't. E ball. I cannot even believe at this stage that these two are still going at it the way they are. Well, you know, that's what it takes to step up to the plate for a championship match. You gotta be able to show this character this kind of determination. Here we go again. What does EO have in store for him this time? Uh-oh. And a DDT! Devastating DBT by Nathan Legacy. This is his chance, man. Go get the brass ring here. Nathan Legacy going to the top rope again, looking this for is, something are huge. We, are we going to see a new champ? Oh, no. He didn't quite get up there that time. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Nathan Legacy he, going for a shooting star. He, Nobody was home. He took a chance. Didn't pay off. Oh, no. River City Driver. River City That's driver got to be cover. it. What a match. And now here we are. It's us versus the entire roster. <laughs> Mortal men would fear such an option, but not us. We show you why we rule <laughs> wrestling on Vancouver Island. We will destroy any flesh that gets in our way. That's uh, not the 
Сирота. Hey, folks, it's Ocho with PWA Wrestling. Tonight, we got a huge BC Championship match, a title that's been worn by EO Mike Besher, Crofton, Lax Siddhartha, and perhaps the man to my right, Haviko. Haviko, what are your thoughts on the big title match tonight? Well, Ocho, tonight is a huge opportunity for myself to cement my name, Haviko, as a top contender in the ranks of PWA. Every time I get in the ring with Judas Icarus, it's a back and forth matchup. We know each other well. We started training around the same time at the PWA Pro Wrestling Academy and have had more battles in the ring together than with anybody else. Sometimes it's like we know what each other are thinking. So tonight, I think one of the keys is going to be being unpredictable. We also both know some of each other's best moves and how to counter them. So I think tonight is going to come down to who wants it the most and who can hold on the longest. Well, I think it's fair to say that the man to my right definitely feels like he wants it the most. Speaking about Judas Icarus in a little more detail, you find that him and TJ Harley have certainly been spending quite some time together. And uh, because of that friendship, it seems that your friendship with Icarus has kind of been shoved to the side. You know, this, this friendship that started as the two of you began training with the PWA Academy has really just fallen uh, apart completely. And now it seems that you're just all but forgotten. Well, as I said, I know Judas Icarus well, but this side of him is definitely something new. But I truly believe that the wicked man will fall into his own trap. So I'm sorry to say that I think these new dirty tactics that TJ Harley has been passing down to Judas are just simply going to come back to bite him. You could be correct, but you know what? Icarus has definitely chosen his own path, and it seems that, Haviko, you've chosen one for yourself, too. Fan favorite, what's it going to feel like if you get to raise that belt above your head? I like to take everything one match at a time, and it's really hard to put into words how that would even feel, but getting to represent where I'm from is why I work so hard every day. Winning the British Columbia Championship right here in my hometown of Campbell River, well, be priceless. Absolutely. Well, Haviko, I want to thank you for joining me. It's been Ocho. Let's head back to the ring. Absolutely correct. 16 and up with a parent's permission, you can start training today at the PWA Academy. And, and look, with, with the, the right training at the Academy, you too could be the BC champion or delegated BC champion, I guess I should say. Delegated BC champion, or no delegated BC champion. The title belt is around the shoulder of Judas Eccles. And on the other hand, you could choose the path of Eco's chosen, where he's certainly a fan favorite. The kids love him, and he's a welcome addition to the PWA roster. And defending PWA BC champion, I will say one thing, it certainly shows a lot of confidence on the part of TJ Harley in the ability of Judas Icarus to defend that title. He clearly really believes in his young protege here. Well, the underdog himself, Aviko, who's been up against some huge opponents in recent weeks, seemingly has a task going up against a guy who's got the similar size, build, and talents. So this should be a very back and forth showdown between the two of them. These men have been tearing down the house at PWA events up and down Vancouver Island. I'm We're excited to see this matchup. All over the place. You know what? You can expect Gold River in the future. Port Alice, maybe we'll be making an appearance there. Of course, Port Hardy. All the support from all over Vancouver Island makes PWA possible. Judasikra is showing he's not intimidated. Beautiful arm drag. Taking control early here, Haviko honing in on that arm, wrenching it around there, choosing to go for a wrist lock, side headlock takedown there. It's good evidence right there, even when you don't quite have the grip you want on a headlock takeover, as long as you keep that momentum going, you can pull that body right over. That is correct, Ocho, that momentum, huge part of the game there. 
And with both of these competitors in the same weight class, it's, it's going to come down to who can carry that momentum and also, I think, who makes a mistake That's at some point. That's not going to rattle Jason Curtis. No way. That's right. He's the defending champion. You show him who's boss, Judas. It seems, it seems more like he's throwing a temper tantrum in the ring. That is disgusting. On temper tantrum. It's mind games. He's trying to throw him off. Get him to make a mistake. Can somebody get the referee a towel or something to clean that up? I think that's just unnecessary on the part of Icarus. Whipping him into the other corner. Aviko comes back. Sling blade. Taking him down. Signature move of Aviko. Oh, oh, oh. Rolling him through out. into that lariat there. Aviko is pulling out all the stops here early hey, and he's on, up in the corner. Cool Icarus Ic is uh, in a little bit of trouble at the moment. I <laughs> like seeing that, to be honest with you. This 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 kid is... Uh, that's, a, that's sadistic, you know? It really is. Well, you know what? You're as sick in the head as these camel river faithful. Oh, and look at that, Icarus. The awareness yeah, of mind there, pulling down that rope, providing the low bridge and sending Habiko out. And it looked like he was gonna go for a suicide die, but Javiko cutting him off at the pass. A big knee to the face of Icarus. And he is out of it right now. You'll be wise not to make comments about Campbell River. That's my hometown you're talking about. Oh, devastating for him. Absolutely. Bringing him down right off the, the top rope. And now he could be going for snap suplex here. No, that fisherman, fisherman suplex right that we know of. He needs to get in position. He got a position. The Beautiful Who is this bridge by Icarus. Beautiful bridge. And Icarus is all over the referee right now there He's got for a what he feels is a slow count. Well, maybe Icarus would be wise to focus more on the match and not what the referee could be doing. I agree well, with you, Ocho. Referee this inept. Well, look who's wearing the stripes. Zikaris should stick to what he knows right now. Yeah, why don't you leave the refereeing to the man in the ring there, Merrick? All right, Icarus here. Definitely getting a little cocky, taking some time to play for the crowd again. I think that interim championship might be going to his head as he just powers Habiko across the ring and Jack stiffly into those turnbuckles. You could have heard you could have heard that all the way in Powell River. TJ Harley's proud. And you can definitely hear those kicks too. Oh, just going into the ribs there. Taking Javiko apart systematically right now. You can't breathe, you can't wrestle. Brings him over with a snapmare. Oh, and a kick to the small of the back. Oh my. He's making wow. him think about it, that's you, why. You know, a lot of these guys are wearing kick pads and uh, he does snap on that shin right on the back. That's just bone on bone at that point. Just right into the spinal column of Havigo and you can just see the pain just etched all over his face. Just in pure agony right now. That's true, that's true. Icarus just maintaining control now, backing, backing him up into the corner rather for a knife edge chop. But Havico with a reversal there of the Irish whip. Bringing his arm down on that knee. Catching him, spinning him around. Oh, oh big jawbreaker there. He's clutching at that arm though, he can't follow up. Definitely favoring that arm there. That could be the difference maker in this match at this point. Is Havico gonna notice that? Is he gonna hone in on it now? Well, Icarus is starting to get a little agitated. Yeah, this could be a rookie mistake here. Kemberer is faithful, not supporting him one bit. Definitely getting under the skin of Icarus that his hometown crowd is against him here. But I mean, both of these competitors from Campbell River. And with the attitude that Icarus has presented, I don't blame the crowd for being on Havico's side. But man, the elevation on that knee by Icarus. You definitely can't say anything bad about his game. And the bona fide mean streak that's behind it is absolutely the influence of T.J. Harley. Well, big knees from uh, Icarus. That seems to be his uh, M.O., so to speak, taking after Kyle O'Reilly, who is uh, a wrestler that he definitely admires. Most definitely Kyle O'Reilly, you know, a competitor who had some of his own early matches here on the island um, and a great competitor to model yourself after, for sure. 
Judas Icarus, you know, going for a similar blend of a technical game with a high-flying game and some submissions in there. I, I definitely agree with your assessment there. But what I think we're neglecting to acknowledge right now is when Javico seems like he's down and out, that seems to be when he's at his most dangerous. He's like a dog. He just never knows when to give up, and he just keeps taking that beating. Going for an impaler, Speaking pushes him off. Speaking of Havigo coming out of nowhere to take control of a match, Ojo, you see it right oh, here. Oh, oh! Snap the neck on that one. Inverted DDT bringing him down. Just a two count. And Havigo's got to be asking himself what he's got to do now to put away Icarus after a move like that. Well, it seems to me Icarus used up two horseshoes on that one. I don't know where they're coming from, but this guy's getting lucky. Could be going for that Tornado DDT here out of the corner. Icarus just tosses him off though. Goes for a springboard and comes back with a kick. Slipped a bit on that one, but he seems to get, get right. just enough to do the damage. Still you know, got its mark. Absolutely jacked up the jaw of Hibiko. And it, the leg and only gets a two. And now it's Icarus who's asking himself what he has to bring out. What does he have left in the tank here? It just fascinates me how much Avico has, how much heart he displays every match. And Avico just slapping away the kick there. Oh! oh! Kamikaze right on the top Shuckle of the Shuckle a boom! And a cover. Two. Oh. No! Kicking out. I can't believe it. Big Ab time Kamikaze right there, and I thought he had the match Ab in the bag. Avico almost You want to talk about to talk about El Havico having heart. There's nobody with a bigger heart than Judas Icarus. Wow. You make a lot of bold statements, whether they're true or not. I'll leave that for the fans. Oh, I see how it is. Breaking the ice. Come on, Raph. Well, that's not very heartfelt, in my opinion. He was just trying to oh. move his mask out of the way so he could see. Snapped that super kick. My goodness. So back and forth. Two close calls. Havico almost took it. Then Icarus almost get, took you it. You can't get frustrated here, Judas. you got to stay on top of the man. Well, you know, he's taking shortcuts to try to get the victory here with that right to the eyes. And even after that, not able to come out on top of that pinfall situation there. Well, look at Merrick over here. He's sweating bullets. I'm not. I'm, I'm not sweating. Judas has got him right where he wants. Look, he's going for that pull cord super, super kick. Havico trying to power his way out here. Catches him with a forearm to the mouth. Coming off the ropes. Oh, no. Big spinning head scissors by Javico. Spins it around. Right into an arm bar. Icarus is in some serious trouble right here. Javico could take the title right now. This could be it right don't here. Tap, do what you gotta do, but don't tap. The referee in there speaking to Icarus. And yes, he's got to give it up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't believe is it. Is it true, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, no. we have seen a new PWA British Columbia no. Champion crown right here on Shaw TV. TJ Harley is gonna be so mad. Oh, folks. I couldn't be happier for Amico right now. It's been a really long year for him. A lot of ups and downs, but that's the kind of guy you wanna see every time you watch PWA Wrestling Live. He's got heart, he's got guts, and now he's got gold.